2024 Mercedes-AMG C63 S East Performance First Drive, Your Own Drive to Survive. From its founding, AMG's formula has been simple, put a big, powerful engine and a performance suspension setup in a Mercedes-Benz luxury vehicle. The world is changing rapidly, though, and AMG must adapt to survive. The solution, the Formula One-inspired 2023 Mercedes-AMG C63 SE Performance. The why. Commit all that official naming nonsense to memory if you like, we'll all likely end up calling it the C63 like we always have. The ridiculous name could be even longer, because this car is also all-wheel drive, Formatic Plus in Mercedes-speak, and a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, PHEV. It is, as an AMG executive explained to us, starting the transition to electrified and fully electric sports cars. This is how the renowned in-house tuner will continue to work its magic in an age where we give more than lip service to vehicle emissions. Notice we didn't say anything about range or fuel economy. The AMG people are very clear on this, the complicated hybrid powertrain is about performance. Yes, you can plug it in and drive up to 8 miles on pure electric power at speeds up to 81 miles per hour. By today's standards, that range is pathetic for a PHEV, but that's not the point. AMG isn't even talking about fuel economy yet, but it would be difficult for a hybrid to do worse than a twin-turbo V8, even though that, too, isn't the point. The point is to make the 2024 Mercedes-AMG C63 SE performance the fastest, most powerful C63 ever and to convince the market that high-performance hybrids are the near-to-medium-term future before full EVs are ready to take the reins. It's inspired by Mercedes-AMG's recent dominating success in F1 and informed by the company's somewhat foolhardy attempt to put an actual F1 engine in a road-legal car known as the AMG One. By the numbers, it's a compelling argument. All of its gasoline and electric power plants combined, the C63 makes 671 horsepower and 752 lbft of torque. For those of you who are comparison shopping, that's 168 horsepower and 236 lbft more than the 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 this new powertrain replaces. The how. How the 2024 Mercedes AMG C63 reaches those numbers is far more interesting. Up front is Clutch Your Pearls, the world's most powerful production four-cylinder, a 2.0-liter turbocharged unit that makes 469 horsepower and 402 lbft with the help of two small electric motors, one embedded in the turbocharger and the other reducing engine load in a belt alternator starter arrangement. The one in the turbo nestles between the turbine and the compressor and runs off the powertrain's 400-volt electrical architecture. It spools up the turbo immediately at low engine speeds and keeps it spooled when you lift off the throttle momentarily, thereby eliminating turbo lag. Not just in theory, either, in practice, the gasoline engine feels like it's always in the meat of its power band because no matter how you drive it, you're never waiting on turbo boost to build. It's always there in full force. All of this would be massively impressive on its own, but there's another, much bigger electric motor on the rear axle doing even more work to make you go fast. Able to apply up to 201 horsepower directly to the rear axle, and even forward through the clutched center differential to the front axle, it and its battery are the keys to making this whole contraption work. Mounting it on the rear axle shifted the weight balance from 5446's front slash rear on the old car to 5050 on the new one, and putting it behind the 9-speed multi-clutch automatic transmission instead of between the gearbox and the gas engine allowed AMG to use all of the electric motor's power rather than restricting it to protect the transmission. It's not just a motor geared to the axle, either. It acts through a 2-speed automatic that shifts into high gear at up to 87 miles per hour. Also wedged in there is an electronically controlled, limited-slip differential. Separating the electric motor from the gas engine and giving it its own little transmission also allowed engineers to get the maximum output from the blended powertrain, since the two power plants peak at different engine-slash-motor speeds. None of this arrangement makes the powertrain sound like a twin-turbo V8 or like an EV. As you might expect, it sounds like a turbocharged four-cylinder, though in this case one that's been tuned to make lots of bass notes. It's a perfectly acceptable sound for a four-banger, but nothing to write home about. 
As it'll happily putter around under pure electric power in some modes, it also makes an artificial noise at low speeds to warn pedestrians of the car's presence. It sounds like a computer's interpretation of the four-cylinder idling, and, thanks to a microphone and the exhaust, it is actually based on real noises, just digitally enhanced ones. Same thing in the car, if you turn on the artificial exhaust sound booster. We preferred to go without. The payoff. The result of all the wizardry happening under the car is high-performance EV acceleration that never lets up. Noise and vibration from the combustion engine be damned, the 2024 Mercedes-AMG C63 SE performance pulls like a Tesla whenever you stand on the skinny pedal. Unlike a Tesla, though, it doesn't start to slack off at high speeds. The 11 total gears split between two transmissions allow the car to pull just as hard at speeds well past 100 mph as it does from a stop. It pulls so hard and so relentlessly, you quickly find yourself in the supercar conundrum. Modern supercars are so quick you'll often find yourself hurtling toward a corner much, much faster than you've ever done so before, requiring quicker reactions and way harder braking to get yourself slowed down in time to make that corner. Not only using but maintaining full throttle in this car isn't materially different from doing the same in a McLaren 765LT, street or track, full throttle doesn't happen often, and when it does, it feels like you're hanging on for dear life by the time you lift. Most of the time, the corners are just too close together to necessitate or even allow for full throttle. Part throttle is way more than enough to get you there at blinding speed. Just to reiterate, this is ostensibly a high-performance luxury sedan we're talking about. It accelerates that hard. The new Mercedes-AMG C63 pulls even harder if you remember to push through the kickdown switch. Depending on your drive mode, you only get between 25 and 80% of the electric motor's output by pushing the gas pedal down to the switch. Push through the switch, however, and you get the full 201 horsepower from the rear axle for up to 10 seconds. Things get really wild at this point, especially if you do it exiting a tight corner. From a stop, AMG says the C63 will hit 60 mph in 3.3 seconds and pull all the way to an electronically limited 174 mph top speed. How and when you deploy electric boost is a whole story in and of itself. AMG recommends you go to a pre-mapped racetrack and engage the boost strategy app. Depending on whether you want to set a qualifying lap time or settle into an extended lapping session, the instrument cluster will tell you when during the lap to use the kickdown switch and for how long. In qualifying, you'll be told to use it more often and to keep your foot in it longer to use as much electric boost as possible for the best lap time. Under extended lapping, you'll use it less often and in shorter bursts to give you consistent, repeatable fast laps by not draining the battery. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.